everybody. Could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. A population of blue whales off the coast of California has returned to historical levels after being hunted to near extinction. A new study conducted by researchers at the University of Washington and published in the journal Marine Mammal Science surveyed a particular population of North Pacific blue whales, a subspecies that lives from California up to Alaska along the west coast of North America, and found that the population now numbers approximately 2,200, or around 97% of its estimated historical level. Blue whales are the largest animals on Earth. They were nearly hunted out of existence in the late 20th century. This population of blue whales in California may be small, but it is the first population to rebound to historical levels since protections against whaling were implemented. This UW study documents a great conservation success story and demonstrates that through proper protection and monitoring, vulnerable populations can be brought back from the brink of extinction. Next up, scientists in Germany, and yes, I'm sure that it's Germany this time, have succeeded in creating artificial models of primordial cells. These artificially created cells, built by biophysicists at the Technical University of Munich, consist of cell membranes, cytoskeletons, and kinesins, which, when supplied with ATP molecules as a fuel source, allow the model cells to move on their own. The creators of these artificial cells hope that observing their behavior under various conditions will improve their ability to understand, predict, and describe the behaviors of cells in natural biological systems. And finally, a NASA survey has confirmed a long-proposed theory that our solar system sits within a great bubble of gas created by the explosions of ancient supernovae. It's called the local bubble. It's approximately 300 light-years across and filled with gas that, compared to the interstellar medium outside the bubble, is extremely hot and diffuse. Astronomers first began to suspect its existence in the 1970s, when radio and X-ray telescopes began detecting temperature differences in space near Earth compared to farther away. The local bubble was formed, it now appears, around 10 million years ago by a series of nearby supernova explosions. Fortunately for us, none of these supernovae were close enough to disrupt things on Earth, but they were nearby enough to enclose our solar system within a massive cocoon of invisible gas. Blue whales off the coast of California are rebounding from whaling, scientists in Munich have created artificial cells, and astronomers confirm that our solar system sits within a bubble of interstellar gas created by a series of supernova explosions 10 million years ago. That's the good news.